just a little bit ago, SafeMoon has issued a new statement with updates in regards to the SafeMoon blockchain. When we hop over to Twitter on their official account, they say the following, SafeMoon family, we want to give a shout out to our awesome blockchain development team. They've been working hard behind the scenes and we want to celebrate their fantastic progress by sharing their latest update with you. Blockchain development updates. These include the Chain SOS wallet wrapper testing that's been completed, Chain tokenomics model in progress, Chain SOS peer-to-peer -peer wrapper, data flow exploration and feasibility analysis in progress, Chain AWS development environment setup in progress. These updates are a mix of recent activities. No timelines are stated or implied. SafeMoon, SafeMoon Blockchain, Web3 movement for everyone. So SafeMoon is giving us some update or updates in regards to what's going on with their blockchain. Some people would look at this and say, well, what does that exactly mean? What is this specifically mean? And that's a great question. Unfortunately, I'm not a coder. I can't tell you guys by looking at this that, oh yeah, this means that they're really far into it. All I can tell you is that based on what they're posting here, they're making progress, they're advancing, they're moving forward. It's closer than it was before. But how close it is, I would love it if somebody that's watching this video that's more familiar with these kinds of things, can you share your thoughts and opinions on this down in the comments below. And moving forward with this, we also need to take into account what else is going on with SafeMoon right now. Right now, there's the restoration of liquidity that's being established across multiple blockchains. This post is in regards to the SafeMoon blockchain. My suspicion is that once the SafeMoon blockchain has been completed, we will already have the bridging elements, the cross-chain elements of SafeMoon being up, operational, showing that it's functioning, working properly for the other existing chains and possibly we'll see other chains being added to that list before the SafeMoon blockchain. So what does that mean? That means that right now we have SafeMoon on the Binance Smart Chain, we have SafeMoon on the Ethereum side, as well as SafeMoon over on Polygon. We could see it come out on things like Avalanche as well. The liquidity right now as of the time of me recording this video has been established for that of SafeMoon on Binance Smart Chain and over for Polygon. Still waiting on the finalization for over on the Ethereum side. As far as for the bridging element goes, that's probably not too far out. I would suspect possibly a day, two days after we see the completion with Ethereum, but that's just my wild speculation. Once the bridging element has been rolled out, time needs to be given, making sure everything looks like it's up, functioning, working properly, really hoping there won't be any more exploits, adding in another new factor to the equation. It is a bit concerning seeing how things have happened in the past. Does it mean anything will happen? No, it's not a guarantee. And as was mentioned before, major other cryptos and exchanges, they've had issues in the past, and some of them still have new issues that come up. To claim that any one crypto in particular is not vulnerable to outside exploits just doesn't make sense. People continue to advance and the way that they analyze things, the discoveries that they make, loopholes that are found. Technology continues to advance, to become smarter. I don't know how things are gonna look 
five years from now. I don't know how things are going to look a month from now. This space has been evolving really fast. But at the same time, there's a lot of things to be optimistic about. And the potential of what SafeMoon could bring to the table with what they're working on. A lot of people are still looking forward to this. A lot of people think that once it's established, it's actually out there, shows that it's functioning, then there will be an appeal to it. But until then, there's just speculation. There's a lot of what ifs. And for some people, they can't handle the weight. Other people, they can. So this is an update on the SafeMoon blockchain. I'll keep you guys posted for more information when we find out about it. Let us know what your thoughts are on this down in the comments below. Thank you so much to my Patreon supporters. A double shout out thank you to WeLoveSafeMoon.com, Victor Vegas, SafeMoon Oz for being higher level patrons. Thank you very much to my YouTube members for your support as well. And if you want to pay for your real world bills using cryptocurrency, you can check out Spritz Finance. I have a video link down in the description below. I walk you guys through it, how I did my own payment. And if you use my referral, you can get a little bonus for one of your future bill payments. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. That's all we got in this video. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit subscribe, hit the thumbs up like button. God bless, and we'll see you in the next episode.